Wednesday. <laughs> I think I saw a dolphin. Where are they? Over there. Ah, Papa Cliff! About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. learned here in the mat is uh, one day there's a lot of wind a lot of waves the next day there's nothing like this we just came from the north part of uh, Sardinia there's a national park called Ansara no Asinara Asinara I'm sorry I'm being corrected here by the director it's called Asinara and we went to this uh, national park because it's supposed to be the only place in the world that they have uh, Albino donkeys. Have you seen an albino donkey before? I had not. We had seen many of them over there for the past uh, day that we were there. And today we're just gonna cross uh, this gulf that we have here to the other side on the north portion of Sardinia. And we're gonna go to Cala Rosa uh, because the winds is gonna come from the other side uh, starting uh, tomorrow. And we want to cross to the east coast of Sardinia in the next few days. So we're gonna be sitting over there waiting for the weather window to be correct so we can cross between north of Sardinia and uh, Madalena. So we can explore the east portion of Sardinia. We're excited about it. We're gonna stay uh, several weeks here in Sardinia. We're having a great time here. It was indeed an easy sailing day to Isla Rosa. The ocean looked like a big swimming pool. We arrived before the sun set and anchored joy right in front of the town's tiny marina because we knew that for that evening we would hardly have any wind or swell, meaning we could have a peaceful night of sleep. And there were so many jellyfish on the water that would make it impossible to go for a swim without getting stung. So I went to paddle a bit to check the anchor and bring a small jellyfish so Patricia could see it up close. Next morning, we woke up and checked the weather forecast and learned that the swell along with stronger winds would get to us in the afternoon. We decided to go into the marina just to be safe and of course more comfortable. I always tell Patricia that a weather forecast is just a forecast and by no means we'll always get it right. So I came inside to film a bit here because it was so loud outside because of the wind. Uh, we have like we have gusts of about 30 knots. Uh, we decided to stay here in uh, in the marina. It's called Isola Rosa, and it's the northern portion of Sardinia. Yes, we're already here, and uh, the weather is not going to be good for the next week. So we have a very nice anchorage right in front of us. We have two boats that are anchored over there. They're safe. There's not a whole lot of waves or anything like that. It's just gusts of up to 30 knots. Today, as we pulled into our slot in the marina, the winds pick up and it was stronger than forecasted.
So we decided to leave Isola Rossa and go to Castel Sardo, which is about two hours from Isola Rossa. It's, uh, it's a pretty good uh, day today, not a whole lot of wind, but we can sail. Buongiorno, principessa. Buongiorno, sto mangiando il good de fragola. 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 Okay. It's gonna take two hours, we'll arrive at Castel Sardo and we get to see another town here in the north of Sardinia before we go to the Strait of Bonifacio to the other side of uh, Sardinia, the other side of the island which is called uh, Costa Esmeralda. We're gonna stay here for two nights because there's a lot of wind coming our way uh, tomorrow and the day after so we're gonna be staying put at the marina and visiting town. arrived here at the Marina de Castel Sardo in the north part of Sardinia. Our rooms, our cabins are on that side so we decided to to park the boat this way because the road is right there so we won't have the noise and everything but the electricity is also on that way so our cables are not long enough so I went to the marine store and bought those things here got the cable and I'm making some attachments so I can do like an extension so we can connect the air conditioning and we can connect also the electricity to the boat. After we have stayed here in Castel Sardo for four nights because the winds were against. So today is going to be the day that we're probably going to navigate for about 10 hours. So you ready? Buongiorno Italia! Every time we leave dock, we first disconnect electricity cables, then Patricia takes the lead in losing our docking lines. This morning we started with the bow lines, then the spring lines in the middle of the boat to finalize untying with the lines in the back of the boat. We leave everything ready so they can be pulled from inside a Joy and that way we don't need help from anyone in land. I will have to turn Joy 90 degrees as we have boats very close to our bow and stern and that way we can head out of the marina. Patricia always keep a fender handy just in case we get too close to the concrete wall. I will also have to be very careful with all the lines that are in the water holding the other boats in place. Here we have about a meter and 75 of that, so it's more on the shallow side. The day is super calm, so we will not have problems to get out of the marina and get to the exit channel over there. We experienced a bit of swell at the exit channel, but it was not a problem to go through it. In no time, I was adjusting course, pointing joy to the northern tip of Sardinia. And there, we would pass the Bonifacio Channel to the east coast of Sardinia. As I keep a watch up here, Patricia babysits the cooking pan so they won't slide off the stuff while cooking on the way. We 
decided not to put our main up. We only went with uh, the Jenniker. We were not going super fast. We were going at uh, 3.84 knots. But it was very calm and it was very pleasant and it took us a long time to get here. <laughs> but uh, it was a good day. We had a good time and we're arriving now and we're gonna enjoy the evening here at this beautiful anchorage. As we were getting ready to go visit a friend of ours on another Lagoon 46 that was anchored right beside us, we noticed some smoke coming out of a huge sailboat. So we went to check it out to see what was going on and realized it was not an emergency as the boat over there was Parsifal 3, a 54 meter long sailboat that serves as the stage for the show Below Deck. So for sure they were filming some drama aboard that day. Time to go say hello to our neighbors. So they have a beautiful Lagoon 46 <laughs> as well. And we're like, we just got in here and there are so many things that are different than ours. And one that I'm gonna show you guys is that table. Look at that. It's awesome because you can sit you can sit many people there. Yeah, so much larger than the one we have at Joy. Angelina and Ben from Aurora have done a great job yeah, with their boat. Easy. Wow, just white flower. So you guys can understand what is happening here. Patricia <laughs> speaks Portuguese and Angelina speaks German. But they have like Google Translator in the middle. So one speaks German in the Google Translator, the other one understands and they talk. <laughs> And that way they can come up with a uh, understanding of how to do bread in a boat. Do the Aurora bread, which is very <laughs> famous in this boat and Patricia wanted to learn how to do it. I left Patricia and Angelina on Aurora and went for a ride on the e-foil until it got dark when I went back to Aurora to pick up Patricia. The girls were waiting with ah. three bags of trash on their hands. Here in Italy, we find super difficult to find places to dispose our trash while cruising. So we had some fun with ah. it and we named this task Mission Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning guys and today we're gonna go to a place that is called Las Madalenas. It's an archipelago here in the north part of Sardinia. I don't know if you ever heard of it. This is the first time I've heard but this archipelago is between Corsica and Sardinia. It's gonna take about four hours for us to go from here where we are which is called Gunana Verde, a place that we stayed for five nights because the weather extremely sheltered and uh, with calm waters, no waves or anything. And we're gonna sail all the way to Las Madalenas. And the first spot that we're gonna uh, stop over there, it's called Cala Garibaldi. And uh, we're very excited because it's supposed to be clear waters, very well sheltered, and one of the most beautiful places here in Sardinia. So let's go. So it could be easier, right? But no, this guy came in last night and threw his anchor right in front of us and left to the boat. So our anchor is probably underneath his boat. So we're taking the fenders out because so he may have to push this boat to the side so we can retrieve our anchor before we go.
have arrived here at Las Magdalenas. This is the first anchorage that uh, we're gonna be here. You need a permit to come here so you go online it's all in Italian. Uh, you can put like translate on the <laughs> on the website but uh, you pay about 60 euros a week and you can cruise pretty much all of the islands and you can anchor here. We stopped at this one which is called Calagari Baldi and right behind me there's like a huge club mat that is abandoned. We have not figured out yet why it's abandoned, but it's like several little uh, huts that they have there. And it's, uh, it's kind of sad to see that in a, in a way, but it's such a beautiful place here with crystal waters. And uh, we're going to get the dinghy now and we're going to go for a ride and get to see a little bit the rocks that we have here on the side and everything else. We're super excited to be here. <laughs> shower whenever you shower outside Next on Sailing Joy, we sailed the entire coast of Sardinia. Stopped at Anchorage that were just unbelievable and faced our worst nightmare, a huge storm in the south of Sardinia. Pretty harsh. We had some boats drag. We have the Coast Guard over there. See you guys on our next video.